Volker on one side. Those two heroes literally do nothing level one. I guess the snake's not horrendous anymore at level one, so. Schofield's in. They're Thank ready for do. it. It's gonna be everybody. Let's see who's gonna come out on top of this. A three-man who stomp there from Whisper. Will set up first blood as MSS first to fall. Can they get anything in return here, Quincy Crew? They're focusing towards Stinger. Stinger. They Six charges, but he won't keep himself alive. A one for one. Chris Lux now moved over, looking towards Leslau, but too tanky to commit on with the orb. I'll leave it as the one for one. K1 got first blood, though. Special's only really buffed it several times, but he's actually just had the gun for retaliate in the top lane because of how passive it is. He just has to get those trade backs with the ET and the Dusa. Yeah, we watch K1 just continue to get pretty flawless last hits. Top lane. Ooh. Wow. This Tommy doesn't get away. He gets him alone, too. Hey, get all the way go. 0-1. He's rolling this top oh. lane. And he's level 3 already now. So this lane is going to continue to be continue to be difficult for Beast Coast and actually just be maybe uncleanable almost for the Centaur. And down bottom, they take down Stinger. Oh. Both. Uh, oh. Says, yeah, Whisper. Vanguard's done. Starting to fully catch back up there. Now the lane is a lot easier for him. Now they can't really push him out at all. Even though LOA did such a good job from the beginning. Now that Whisper's at this point again. And now LOA, he steps up far. Yeah, Whisper's got the stampede, so I don't know if there's any escape for him. And uh, it looks like he won't even need it. No. Probably gives away their ward that they have not. Yeah, immediately gets pinged by him, but either way, well worth it. Mid lane Quinn. Quick set up on a Schofield, he's gone. Earn charge acquired. And he will just go straight vessel. Oh, yeah, that's good. It's, it's playing into Dawnbreaker, too. And just evaluate him now. And for Lifestealer. You are. He's got his Yash. And then they're sending, sending to the top, but Whisper, quick stampede, a tree cut. Now bottom, Chris Luck. Whoa! Let's get out. See Schofield ready uh -oh. to back up K1 and uh, Stinger. They, they've got a run here, Quincy Crew. LOA. way. He is looking dead. I don't know if there's anything he can do to save himself here as K1 stays on target. Another kill for K1. As Quincy Crew, they, they try and make a move around and they get basted in, I think, by Chris Luck. They're very close to killing him. Losing two heroes and both of those. On He's on Stinger. Oh, nice tornado. very nice tornado. I mean, K1 is around to try and help out. He's the stomp, perfect here from LOA, catching the two of them. The infest is not enough burst to keep Stinger alive though. Stinger still goes down. They'll chase on towards K1. Mortimer's Kiss is coming out as well. Cold snaps there. Quinn with the lockdown required. To take him out. Trying to say. Uh, he, I think if. I think he he should have just, just bailed. Ran. He should have just ditched that Dawnbreaker. He's looking very dead. He goes just heading over. Yeah. Got Ravage. On Quincy. Dream call up in seconds here. I want to see the, the setup from the low ground, Quinn. Trying to go for Schofield, but combo will be avoided. The purge is out. They, they jump forward. Les now comes in with the back lines. Ravage onto the Shadow Demon to stop the follow up. But, and with a oh, big stomp from LOA, he's got the three of them. They come over the burst. They've taken out Chris Luck. Now they can look towards Stinger as well. Again, some lovely uh, counter plays here from LOA. These stomps are shaking them up. K1 and Whisper, they're still trying to fight this, but there's four heroes. Can they really do this? I, I don't think they can. K1, he's starting to run now. Realizing they cannot tackle this. Cookie in, another He's stomp tanky, from though. LOA. Let's see if they can with the stone gaze. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. The little shredder still helps to tear through with Whisper. Oh, oh, as uh, Quincy Crew bringing some fantastic fights here. Yeah, that max little shredder plus the medallion goes right through him. Wow. And Whisper shows up late to the party and just dies immediately. And he oh. has his blink dagger at the LOA. base. Great stomps in the fight, okay. but sticks around a little too long and ends up handing himself straight into the, into the claws of K1. Good fight. Very good fight from Quincy. And yeah, no Ravage. K1's just starting off the action here, trying to take the focus. Quinn, setting up with the Ghost Walk, so a little for counterplay, but Whisper with a quick hoot stomp will stop the stomp from LOA. Dream card down as well. LOA does keep his distance. Able to get the Earth Spitter off. Whisper's still trying to get in to kill him. Who managed to do so with the Stampede? But Whisper's oh going to lose goodness. his life for that one as he goes very deep to secure that kill onto LOA. This little Shredder is just owning now. He's about to have a Solar Crest on. Let's walk right into it. He's in with the old K1 TP's over. The Rage is out. Ravage is there, but with the Rage already up, K1 can continue to try and stay on top of Leslau. Stampede. 
He's looking for a target. Another jump with a hoof stomp. They're looking for Leslau, but Leslau's going to cook it out of the side. He's going to live. Leslau gets away. K1, he's in trouble. Leslau jumps in the anchor smash. K1 goes down. Stinger comes in swinging, but it's a miss as he doesn't land the connection. Leslau may die in the river to Chris Luck. No, he won't. They're he's focused. too tanky. Chris Luck doesn't have enough damage to kill Leslau off. They're focusing the hood tide. They caught the invoker in the. It's going to come into play. Dyer's middle tower is under oh, he's attack. He's on the hunt now. I mean, Chris Luck. He's used that orb. Is Quinn going to find the, the setup onto him? Is only going to try it. LOA MSS. Oh, They're ready sure to will. lay down everything. There's no escape for Chris Luck. Over on the side and as well. One. Stomp from LOA. Sets up another kill. Schofield. So try and run. Combo Dyer's didn't quite hit completely. He missed the sun strike on the <laughs> stop, but all right. I'll get him in. Yeah. They make an excuse that for how well. Win has played through the rest of this game. Yeah. Four, one and six, completely owning the map here. You are just taking a tier two by himself. It's it's they have to isolate the do so. They pretty much have to kill every other hero before they can even try to tackle you are inside of these fights. And that's not gonna be easy. And taking out Quinn at this point. Oh, do you see him though under the awards they had set up? Win. He's got any way to get out of this. He, he does not. He Damn. will go down. I was about to say, taking a quit at this point is super crucial for them, so they will get him this time. And Stinger and Schofield, they should be able to step far enough away from you. Oh, oh it's another Ravage! It's in! Leslau turns up big time, and there may not be much of an escape here for Beast Ghost. Well, they get the Invoker, but they lose three. And that kill for the Invoker, it's added a good timing because it's just before just before that BKB is going to... No interrupt, no, no turn up from Beast Ghost. We see K1, he's been pretty much spending the... The last five minutes of his life just on this top lane, away from the action, trying to get his items done. Finish the AC, now with the space that he's at, he will have the BKP for the next fight. Also able to take the tier two down. That's not bad, but it does it does feel bad that he has to go for BKP because he needs he needs more damage. He just needs a lot more in this in this game for his team. Because they're just so under farm. Chris Luck, okay, he's queued up the Axe. So because they've got those BKBs. Splitter, this might oh. catch him. Oh, it, it catches does. him. Oh, oh, oh. LOA. Oh. Perfect timing there. That's the buff. Those are the buffs on the splitter. Yeah, very well deserved tips there. LOA lining it up in preparation for the move that K1 was going to attempt. Uh, BKB, I but mean, uh, uh, it's, nothing's really going to happen with it. I mean, he's still trying to run in. And the BKB will come to an end. Okay, by the time of the, the infest, they do manage to get in a good jump here onto both the two of them. The Ravage. the Ravage comes out, catches Chris Luck, but they've managed to kill off at least the snap fire. LOA also to fall. Can K1 clean up here? No, he can't. He no, has he to cannot. run. That's the initial burst. They back off. Two down on Quincy Crew, three down on Beast Coast. Like that four there with Yuar cleaning up Schofield on the escape. And Chris Luck, he's got to run. Uh oh, K1 gets hit by the Scotty. He's got rage, but he's got no, no TP. TP. Oh, he is caught. He's got no infest either. Chris Lux is like, uh, I don't know what to do for you, my man. I bought back, dude. <laughs> oh, oh. Tornado, a little early, but uh, he's looking matter. pretty dead. K1, he'll start trying to turn and stand his ground, but nothing to do against this. They might call it pretty soon, I think. It's looking pretty tough here for, for Beast Coast, indeed. I don't know how you deal with this, Yawa Medusa. It's got to that point of the game. I mean, 6 0 7. Smoke up, they're ready to hunt. Chris Luck's got to be careful. He's trying to take back this outpost, but they're going to be leading towards him. Oh. Dream God down there. He's going to try and turn and go, but the Ravage is out. Leslau catches both Stinger and Whisper. K1 trying to finish off LOA, but LOA's off to the side. Yo, coming in from Stinger with this buyback, still trying desperately to turn this fight around. They've taken down at least the Snapfire. Chris Luck's going to continue to look to hunt down the ET. K1. Isn't on top of Yuwa, but Yuwa's out with the TP. He'll get away. Chris Luck was able to continue to chase and finish off LOA. Quinn's out with the Ghost War. Chase over to the side. They're looking for Leslau. He's off, trying to burn away a little bit at Yuwa, but it's, it's not oh doing a lot. He's got to be a little careful. Trying to buy some time. 26 of Whisper. He's going up with the Infest. He's going to try and look for the wraparound. Maybe see if they can get someone on the back of it all. He's now going in. Disruption. Who's Whisper, who's Whisper going to find? Oh, MSS with a blink. He's able to dodge the who stop. MSS is out of there. K1. He needs help and he needs it now. The Stone Gazer's got it. K1's down. 80 seconds and out. Whisper charging away with the Stampede. Quincy Crew, they want to spend time chasing him. They, they won't. They'll let Whisper go. But no K1 now for Sep. They get her in time. Ah. Roche is already gone. 
Digger. Oh, Whisper. Yeah, they want to have, but they don't want to stand there. There's Whoop. That's Lau. He's getting in on Stinger. Hey, what? Oh, they get on top of Quinn. Quinn? He actually taken he's out. down. He's wow. out for 96. A big catch there for Beast Coast. They're over to MSS Huge. with the silence. Can they get more out of this stream? Go down on the turn, but the Ravage is out. Caught onto K1. K1 the second Ravage gets him again. Let's Lau locking K1 out of the action for 80 seconds. He's down and out. They've got no buybacks here on Beast Coast. Whisper and Chris, like, what can they do to, to sort of kite Quincy Crew away away from the base, really? Trying to take their attention out of this. Whisper being chased into the trees. He can't get away. He can't. Too much damage from Ooh. Battle toe-to-toe -to -toe with LOA. We'll be able to get the kill. Get out. Not... I mean, all things I mean, considered, three not heroes, bad. It was, it was a bad. great start to the fight for Beast Coast in a very difficult situation. Now, Quincy yeah. Crew gets the ages. Beast Coast getting that quick jump. Uh, oh yeah, on, on to Quinn. Of course, he not being the one to take the ages. They did keep it in the hands of Yawar after the Roche. And uh, Quinn still getting blown up pretty easily. And BKB's not out in time. Love the full team fight up for the defense, but... I don't know if Quincy Crew will care. 14-0-8 on this Medusa. Smooth sailing. You are. Jumps in. K1. Oh, to be careful. Yeah, BKB. He's going to die. He's looking pretty dead. That might least, be that. That is probably it, what they call it. <laughs> but Chris Luck is probably like, guys, I just got my BKB. Yeah, but they're going to They call it. GG. Ladies and gentlemen, Quincy Crew will Ooh. take the game two. As uh, well, this will this will what Quincy Crew's first win here in the group stage is yes. that they had a rough three games, but this game, this is the magic that you know, people got excited about Quincy Crew at previous tournaments for. They they, they set things up. Yawa is able to pop off big time, flawless game from him on the Medusa, yep. and uh, yeah, the big thing is you say they had that team fight this time yep. round that they were ready to brawl against Beast Coast with, and uh, just looked. In